Hey, uh, there you are. A little bit late on this broadcast, but I uh, wanted to add to it a little bit. Originally, uh, last night this morning, I copied some interesting news articles, but I was listening to uh, news. I uh, read talking about this uh, drug fentanyl, and I didn't realize that it's taking a life every seven months. She used a, a great uh, analogy. Uh, that's equivalent to one airplane crash every day. And, you know, uh, there's better people to talk about drugs than me because I've never used uh, any illegal drugs. Uh, no stranger to alcohol and no stranger to uh, uh, coffee. I still like coffee. I don't drink hardly any alcohol anymore at all. A little bit of wine. But one of the reasons I personally have never done drugs it wasn't a religious thing. I just simply did not want to die. And I can remember uh, as a young bus driver, I used to drive uh, all the major colleges in the uh, D.C. area, Maryland University, Georgetown, George Washington, American University. And I noticed that when we'd be hauling these teams, they basically got a, 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 a trainer or a doctor with them 24-7. And one of the basketball players, uh, I think, in uh, Maryland University, was playing with cocaine and he just fell over dead, bad. Lose your life at 20 years old and uh, and I understand these new drugs are worse than what I uh, what was around when I came up. So uh, the police or the government, the federal government, is not protecting us. They're letting this stuff come across the border. A variety of vehicles, uh, humans, trucks, whatever. So, our only other, we got two options vote representatives and local and state that will put pressure on the government to protect us. The other thing is just get the message out to the children um, and the young people that you're playing, you're putting your life on lines for a couple minutes of fun. Uh, I heard a commercial one day, uh, I don't know whether who did it, it was, uh, I have an idea, but I don't want to name the wrong, wrong church group. What the guy is telling his son, basically, if you do drugs, you're going to turn blue, purple, uh, going to grow horns, your hair is going to fall out. He is really, they were making fun. But then the commercial come on with a, with a uh, uh, sober note. There is no bad or wrong way to tell your children, discourage your children from using drugs. So I hope that you don't have anybody in your immediate family of fools with them. And if you do, I hope you'll be able to reason with them because it's, it's, a, it's a shame that people lose their lives making someone else rich. Um, looking on the internet news, there was a, a Paul Polsky is a tactor. Um, targeted Tom Hanks, uh, Gavin Newsom, and uh, many other people on a suicide mission. And I think we say this guy is not playing with the full deck. And I hope that they uh, prosecute him. Of course, he is uh, has a presumption of innocence, and I respect that. <clears throat> but should he be found guilty, I hope they can do it, in a, do it quickly. And so it sends a message to 